Hey guys, it's me Tariq Akhtar Ansari. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can convert callback into promises and then how we can handle that promise using async await. Okay, so in the next video, I'll show you how we can do the error handling and how we can send the proper error message to the client. So this video is going to be a very quick and short. So in the last video, I have prepared this REST APIs. If you haven't watched that video, you can click on I button and you can watch that. Watch this video and you can come back into this video. So here you can see that one controller I have created get users. Okay, so this controller is call, calling one service get users. This is a service. You can see that I have imported services from user dot service and in every folder in every module you can say that I'm creating three files controller router and service router responsible for handling all the routes controller for doing all the call operations and service for doing all the database operations. So let's go to the controller. So here you can see I'm calling this get users service here. I'm not passing anything, but I'm getting a call back. So if I'm getting error, I haven't done anything as of now, but in next video, I will show you how we can do the error handling. Okay. If I'm getting the response, then I'm sending to the client. Okay. So let's first go into this service. Now let me remove this. Okay. Now I'll return promise from here. So new promise promise receives one callback resolve or reject either it will resolve or reject. Now let me copy this code here and paste inside save now. Instead of callback, what I'll do, I'll reject. If error, then put return here as well. So that if reject, then after reject, this code is not going to execute. Our application execution will be over here if there is error. There is no need to go down and call other functions. Okay. In the same way, I'll do resolve. But in case of resolve, there is no null value required with the value I'll send this fine. Now let's go inside the controller. Now instead of callback, let me first take a new const result equal to await. I'm going to use await get users. Okay. You don't need to pass anything. Fine. Now, if you are using await inside any function, then that function should be async. Okay. Now to handle the promise, normally we use dot then. You can see that in suggestion because it's going to return promise from here services. Uh, let we need to save it. Okay. We haven't written anything from here. That's why in suggestion nothing is coming. Return keyword must be here. Otherwise it will not return promise. Now you can see that dot then. So if it is success, normally we use then and catch, but here I'm using await. So if any error will occur directly, it will throw for handling the errors. What we do, we use try and catch block. Try catch. Okay. Inside this, I'll do this and the success message. Let me cut from here, paste here. Instead of result, it will be result. That's it. If any error, then we can send that message. Something went wrong, some as of now. But this case is not going to happen if everything is perfect, but may it happens. Now, here you can see. This code is in sided part because this is never going to execute. Either our code will be end in catch or in try. This code is not going to execute. So this that's why it VS code is showing in sided part. Now remove this. So almost we have done. Now let's check the same API. So previously I was getting the result here. Now let me hit back again. I'm getting the same result no changes so thank you guys 
hope you have understand how we can convert callback into promises and we can handle promise using async await okay so in the next video i'll show you how we can do the error handling proper error handling and best practice of error handling i'll show in the next video keep watching thank you guys